Okay, hey guys, this is Noisy Ray, and this is a different type of series. Um, it's a scratch series, really. Um, am I recording the whole screen? I think I am. Um, so basically what scratch is, it's a program, editing program, I guess you can say. It's a program that lets you make programs in an easier way. Um, what you see is what you get, pretty much, WYSIWYG. Kind of like how you do with um, websites. But it's, it's it's a pretty good program. I really enjoy it. I don't actually know how to type, like, write programs just yet. We're going to start learning that soon. I've learned some stuff, um, Java programs. I know my friends, uh, Noisy Nick is, and Colton, they can, um, they can type programs. But this is what I've got. Um, so I'm going to start a series called Project Scratch. And basically what it is, is I'm going to make programs and you're going to watch them. And if you want to download them, um, you'll have to download Scratch first. But yeah, uh, and if you want a link, uh, if enough people want the link, I'll probably download it on some kind of file share site and then post a link under the, in the information. Um, so the way Scratch works is you have all these things that you could do in a normal like program where you can make things happen play certain sounds at certain times whenever you press a certain key so and so happens whenever something touches something on the screen um, by equals blah or less than and or not join letters blah, blah. and then you have your variables and lists well um I made a game uh, called I don't really have a name for it yet I called it a void game because I wanted to make a game where basically you had to avoid what was coming at you but it kind of turned a little bit different kind of fun as you can see in this little area right there that's Meta Knight if you know who Meta Knight is that's awesome if you don't then play Kirby um, as you can see there's a lot of sprites these are basically all of the enemies in the game and after thinking about it there was a very much easier way to do this whole entire program it took me like 13 hours and there was a much easier way to do it as you can see by looking in Meta Knight's this is Meta Knight's um his own each each um sprite has their own scripting they're very similar but Meta Knight has the most obviously because he's the main part all this stuff and then this thing, this one script that just goes on and on and on. Oh, no, it ended. It must go on somewhere else. Yeah, and then it, all this stuff. Okay, there's a, there's that one script that I was telling you about right there that I had to repeat about four times. Yeah, pretty much. Oh, wait. That would just cut off. Huh. wonder why I did that. I guess it's just... For viewing sake, I'm not sure. Probably has to load or something. But anyway, I'll show you what the actual game is like. In just a second. Basically, what it is is Meta Knight is going through hell to fight the Grim Reaper because he wants to find an opponent that is much more worthy of his adversary. Pretty much. Um, Kirby beats the crap out of Meta Knight. Meta Meta Knight a few times, but not you know. <laughs> Kirby doesn't... Meta Knight's at a bit of a disadvantage. Kirby can just... He can eat anything. So he doesn't really count. He's not like a... I guess... I don't know how you really pick, point, do it that way. Anyway, well... Well, basically, you have a score system up here. And it doesn't really do anything. It's just to let you know how well you do. You get score by killing monsters, such as... um these guys you do not want to get hit by the fireballs and the flying scythes they will kill you and I will demonstrate that just now um, you start off I just put it in presentation mode so you can see the whole full screen uh, you start off by pressing the green flag it's a musical play hope to god it's not louder than me because I had the problem with that a little bit ago I put it down by 50% um, as you can see I just killed some enemies uh, you do not want to touch the they have their own little dying noises. Burning skulls and those things from Doom. Um, 
This is what will happen if you touch a fireball. You've much yet to learn. Yeah, he has his own little death animation, but it kind of glitches sometimes because the way the program is set up. Sometimes it's just it runs just fine, but sometimes it doesn't. So that's what happens when you die, and then ten like five seconds later, the whole screen stops. So you just press this to start again. Your score gets reset to zero. And as you can see, Meta Knight is following your mouse. So basically, you just move up and down, and then he'll follow your mouse. Rawr, 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 rawr. The enemies are always going to do the same thing. I can change that. I now, I, after taking a while to think about it, I was like, oh wait, you know, there's a way to make it different every time you play. But it didn't work out that way. Uh, I was just, this is actually just me testing the. Um, scratch program itself, just playing around with it, so I didn't actually have a very um, big understanding of how to use it until after I made this program, because it actually helped me with that understanding some things. Um, you know, it's a pretty long, pretty big thing. I was going to make it for like the whole stage about four minutes long, because it is time-based. Um, these things come out at certain times, that's how they know when they come out. And I guess if you're not used to it like I am, it could be a little harder, because it doesn't look very hard, I'm sure. Because I, I just know what I'm doing, I know where to move and everything. So it might be different for someone who hasn't played it before. I mean, I still die, especially when I get to the boss. Um, yeah. I died last time I tried the show and Nick how to how it works. Cause the boss is a little bit harder to fight. I mean there's some ways that you can just get it. And if you notice, um whatever you put the phone, my light kinda of flies upside down. Which you have to be careful with that because if his wings touch the fireballs or anything, it's considered his sprite, so Yeah. And that's how okay, the boss battle's about to start. So, it's a giant demon spider. Um, he has a face at the back. And all you're gonna do is hold the um, space bar, and he'll do that. And if you can get a sword to touch the spider before he actually gets to you, um, you won't lose health. But as you can see, I'm losing health like crazy. I'm doing terrible. You have like 250 health. Let me start the battle, and if you hit those guys, they go back and then minimize the spider. Okay, I'm going to die, and it's going to suck, because I wanted to show you guys what happens whenever you beat the boss. But I guess that's just not going to happen. Because I'm terrible at this today. Oh, sometimes it glitches, and the little blue guy is actually... I think it's always the second one. I haven't actually fixed that problem yet. You don't have to hit the second one, because it, it already... um hit him before I can come after you. I'm just going to cheat and hold down the square button. I know it's annoying to hear. I guess that's the penalty for um, cheating. Uh, oh, crap. Well, victory is my destiny. Yeah, he says that um, whenever he's low, whenever he's at 200 health. Um, crap. Well, Victory let's try this again. Is my destiny. Yeah, you're gonna wanna have to um, redo it after you fight the boss, because sometimes it um it doesn't process fast enough to get it to where the demon spider's health goes back to 500. So yeah, and sometimes you'll notice the um enemies whenever I hit them, they don't actually disappear right away and I have to go back and hit them again. It's because the way the script is running it. Stops their script from moving first, but since I'm not touching them by the time it um it gets to the part where it kills them, it just stops them, and I have to go back and touch them again. So I'm gonna try this one more time. Um, boss battles. I was taking a very long time to figure out how to make it work just right. Um, that was the best way to make it work and not be super easy at the same time. I did have it to where the spiders were. Um, they would surround you, and you had to hit them like three times before they died, and as they were around you, they'd start 
draining your health by one every second. And that just became to become a real big problem because there was like some glitches and just a bunch of yeah, see he did that thing. Some glitches and I couldn't technically I couldn't get the spider health to work perfectly. And I could have got it to work better if I would have made a variable for each of the little spiders, but it just I didn't want to put that much time into it, I guess you could say. Yeah, see, so he just kind of stood there for a while. Okay. I'm gonna try this again. Um, probably gonna cheat the whole way through. There's a way you have really good timing to stop the spiders. I used to be able to do it really good, but... You can see under the animation slightly. It doesn't stay in that thing because of the other animation that's running constantly. And I'm sure I could get Fight it to me. work better. It's just, it took so much time to do everything, and then I just kind of didn't want to do it anymore. Oh, look, I got him. Sweet. Oh, I got him too. Awesome. Yeah. So it's not incredible. It's kind of hard. Oh, where did that one come from? I was cheating. It's not always the same, because sometimes it does get different, just from, like, lag plays a very big factor in this whole program, whenever you have a lot of, um, scripts running at the same time, yeah, there you go. Um, like how I made the background all glowy, <laughs> I thought it'd be kind of cool to do that. Um, Whenever the game, whenever you run it without going into presentation mode, it's very much more laggy, and a lot of the things just come out at one time, and it gets pretty unbearable. Okay, come on, let's do this. Let's do this. Come on. Girl! Crap, I got hit. Victory Two more times and he's dead. So. Is my destiny. Oh, crap. I'm in trouble. Yeah, each time you hit him with one of the blue things, it brings down to 100 of his health. He has got 500 health, so... Hit him five times, there's five of them that come out. Okay, come on, let's go. Come on, no, 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 no! He hit me. God dang it. No! 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 This isn't fair! No! Oh, that was the last one. Yeah, they actually chase you when you're around, so you cannot escape their, um, grasp. And I could just get them to go straight across. But what's the fun in that? Well, um, that's it for now. All that really happens whenever he dies is he goes away, disappears. Meta Knight says, now my power is without adversary. And then I don't think I do I don't think I make him do any animation. I might make him disappear, but I think he just keeps flying. Um, so yeah, the boss battle is a little bit harder. Um, mostly because I didn't do a very good job with it. I want to actually make a program where you shoot instead of just, um, you know, run into them or hit them with swords whenever you can. Um, but I'm not entirely sure how to do that yet. So, am I still recording? Yeah, I'm recording. Yeah. A lot of time went into this. As you can see, every little... The actual boss is this is all his scripts. Each one has their own little scripts. The most of them are the same because you can just copy and paste pretty much. These little guys they have their own little scripts, and if you right click and put clean up, it makes the scripts all nice and pretty. Something I could have used. So this is a, um this is not the first program I made. Um this is probably the second to third because I made um, a Daft Punk program, which I'll also make a, um, video on, and a card game, like a little battle card game, but that was my second, the card game was my second program that I made, but I didn't actually, um, complete it, like, it made it, I made it to where it worked just fine, and it was a perfectly functional program slash game, but it wasn't exactly what I wanted, so I uh, changed it up a bit to where you actually had decks, and I'll I'll put that into another video. So yeah, this is Meta Knight in Hell. Um, my score was uh, thirteen thousand seven hundred fifty. I don't even know what the top score is, honestly. I can't 
I didn't actually think about the score too much. I just like, oh, hey, look, look, a score. We can see how much you can do. You get, like, a bunch of score points after killing the boss. So it'll be much higher if you don't die like I do. I notice my health is, like, negative 10. Um, God, my ear. Your health can go in the negatives, but it doesn't really mean anything. It just basically, if your health is zero or less, um, you die. And I do need to tweak it a little bit eventually if I ever decide I want to work a little bit more on it. Um, because he doesn't have any, he doesn't say any, he doesn't say anything whenever he dies towards, um, fighting the spiders. He's supposed to say, um, you have much to learn talking to the player itself. Like, as you can, I'll show you again whenever. Okay. Yeah, see, you gotta restart because it'll just freak out. You must yet to learn. Yeah, you have much yet to learn. And that, see, that animation didn't move. Yeah, see, that time the animation didn't move. You must yet to learn. It just goes straight to him, like, oh, I got hit. And then dying. Um, so, yeah, Scratch is a really nice program. I would recommend it if you want to go into programming. I mean, other people will say, oh, well, texting, the text-based program is pretty, is better. And I actually think you can do text-based programming in t Scratch. I'm not entirely sure. I think there's a way to. Um, what's this? Switch to small stage. Ooh, what's that? Oh, that's a tiny stage. But I don't know how to do that my own. Like, I don't personally know how to do that. Um... But it's not a lot different. It's like, wait, like all of these would actually be text parts of programs. Forever, and then I guess an M part of the program. Point towards, move, touching key. It took a lot of work to go into all of this. Um, I might turn it to a little piece of cape. Aww. Yeah, you get 5,000 points if you um, kill the spider. Well, anyway, that's my uh, Mennonite program and uh, Project Scratch. Um, bless you. Um, it's not amazing. And like I said, he, he was going to fight the... Uh, this was only supposed to be stage one, but it took so long, I just kind of stopped after this program. I'm not entirely sure how I'm going to link it to another stage. I can just keep going after this program, or I can make another program and then, I guess, link it. Somehow. Kind of like how I... Yeah. I'm not entirely sure how I'm going to do that yet. But... Yeah, he was going to fight the Grim Reaper, and instead he, he found the Demon Spider he had to get rid of first. And then that was going to be like boss one out of five, and Grim Reaper would be the fifth boss. And... I guess you can like look in the background right there. I found this on Google, so don't ask me where it's actually from. I might actually be stealing it. Could it be copyrighted. I don't know. I don't even know if the uh, these guys are copyrighted. I'm sure they are, since it's kind of part of a game. But I'm not selling this program, so I don't think it really matters. That's like making a hack version of Mario and getting in trouble for that because it's copyrighted even though that you wouldn't sell it. And if you did, you were stupid. But, yeah. Um, everybody, I don't know if I mentioned this before, but if you can see, like, I'll watch the little skull whenever I hit him. If he ever comes back. They have death, they have death animations, too. Just wanted to throw that out there. Um, well, yeah. And then you can, like, look at all the sounds I've put in for Meta Knight. He has all these sounds. That's what. You I'm must thinking. yet to learn. Victory is my he destiny. Says that whenever you're fighting the spider. Fight me. I didn't put some of these things in. I think he says fight me, or he's supposed to say fight me. I don't know if he said it whenever I was recording. Whenever the spider comes out. Fight me. Behold, now my power is without rival. Rival, not adversary. Sorry. Um. But yeah, I didn't use all of them, but they're always there in case you need to use them. Alright guys, well that's um, Meta Knight in Hell, Project Scratch, Episode 1. Um, thanks for watching, and I'll probably make a video of another one very soon. Uh, probably my card game first. Kind of going backwards. Alright, um, thanks for watching guys. Bye.